Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can use top tab navigation in React Native and this will be a short video, not uh, uh, much long video because there we will just uh, install a package for top uh, tab navigation and made some uh, code changes, not we will write logs of code, we will just make uh, small changes for uh, top tab navigation in the last code. As you know in last part we learned that how we can just use, uh, so in last video we made a tab navigation here you can see that. Uh, firstly, I was I was just thinking that I will create a video for icons, tab navigation icon, but that we will learn in the, uh, some other video because firstly, I want to show that. So, let's say you want to just, uh, place these tabs on the top of the screen, then how you can do that, right? So, in this video, we are going to learn that way. So, here you can see that in the official documentation, we have some kind of, uh, some categories inside the tab navigation also. Uh, in last video, we used that uh, the bottom navigation and now we will use uh, create material top tab navigation right so you can just click over there and jump on the another screen and there is uh, just some instruction that I want to show you to installation and uh, this is how it will uh, work right so we can just uh, swipe the screen from left to right or we can just uh, uh, click on uh, tab on that on that tabs all right so first of all we have to install this uh, material top navigation with the react native tab view so let's install this thing first and after that we have to install the react native pager view also so if you are using expona to just uh, check the output then you can use uh, that command npm expo, uh, expo installed react native pager view but if you are using uh, uh, emulator Android and iOS then you can simply use react native pager view and let me copy this also and let's install this alright and after that what you need to do you can just uh, simply create the application build again so that all dependencies will be installed in the Android as well as in the iOS so let's wait for a moment to install that package Yep, done and now we can just simply run npx react native run android and if any uh, case by chance if you are getting any issue any error then you can run this npx start hyphen hyphen uh, clean cache and for that you can just uh, open the some other tab also and there you can run this command right i'll show you there that how you can run even your build is just creating in another tab so you can if you want then you can just open the another tab there right and here you can run this command and uh, that will be just clean the cache and uh, your application will be uh, run smoothly so let's wait for a while this is just about to install uh, about to build actually and uh, after that we will make some changes inside the code also All right. After installing that, uh, we just need to create some make made some changes there. So let's import the top tab navigation also. Import something from iterate React Native Material Top Tabs, and from there let's import create Material Top Navigation, and just replace this uh, with the create bottom tab navigation, right? And now you don't need to just uh, this bottom tab navigation. You either you can remove it or either you can just comment it out and after that here you can see that uh, all right so again here you can see that tab uh, we have options for uh, login and sign up there inside the top tab navigation but we are not able to tab there because we have to clean the cache ones right so what you can do there just come to that uh, screen and uh, just simply run there npm start uh, minus minus clean cache or you can say that hyphen hyphen clean cache and let's wait for a moment and again one more thing that we will learn there so let's say if you are getting a option to just uh, port is already used now then just uh, simply use nest star this command you can use and let's put your port number there uh, which is 8081 hit enter and now you can see that your port number is actually running on port 8580 uh, so this is the uh, port id so after that just simply put their task 
uh, just write there task uh, kill slash pid and then your pid like eight five eight zero slash f hit there and uh, i think we should not put there some space at the last so let me just remove it and here you can see that this is already terminated and again you can uh, run the clean cache and we start with the clean cache and let's let's wait for a uh, second it will clean the cache and after that tab should work here we can see that they are working perfectly fine so let's try to add one more tab so i'm adding one more tab and the name is other for it and you can just use any component for a moment right and uh, now let's uh, just refresh it or you can just simply press the double r to your screen and that will be just refresh and again we here we can see that we got the three tabs so with that way we can uh, just create the multiple tabs and uh, multiple top tabs and that's all for this part and i request you if you have you have any query any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you guys thank you for watching this video